For the best FIFA 15 tips, check out FIFASolve.com. Hi guys, it's Stephen from FIFA Solved. So I've got another great tutorial for you today. This is the face-up dribbling uh, tutorial. This is one of the most effective ways to create space and goal-scoring opportunities on FIFA 15. I'd probably say it's one of the probably the best way to create space on the entire game. Honestly, it really is. I use it religiously in, in all my matches. It's that good. And um, for the controls, it's quite simple. On the Xbox, it's left trigger and right trigger, um, both the the back buttons, and on PlayStation, it's L2 and R2. Um, simultaneously you've got to hold both of them down at the same time and you'll be doing the face up um, instantly it's, it's really easy to use so in this first example running down the wall, uh, wing with Walcott as you do and we're going that way but with that defender I want to take him out so I'm going to go the other way and normally to turn you turn slow but not with a face up dribbling it, it's so quick at turn look at that leave him for dead he's on the canvas he's down look at all the space I've created already and now for the end product to get the goal scoring opportunity, I see Costas free in the middle, whip it in, and I've not only created space, I've created the chance. Um, in this example, look at with Costa, uh, I'm just face up dribbling everywhere, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven players in front of him, and I'm taking them all out with the face up. I've took them all out of the game. Um, another clip in the middle of the park there. This one's really quick, this shows the pace you can use with uh, look left, and then, then right, bang! And there's a penalty because I was too fast for him. I shimmied it to the right really quickly and he, he couldn't handle it. And I kept that whole clip in the sequence to show you it was a penalty. The right and left, whip it in and it's a goal from Costa. These are all goals coming up now. These are the end products where I, it creates so much space. And uh, the goal scoring opportunities and I put most of these goal scoring opportunities away. There I get tackled but I keep my faith in it because I know it's effective. Uh, I get get down the byline, I whip it in and Messi puts it in the back of the net that time. Um, you notice I use it on the wings a lot but you can pretty much use it anywhere. Get my wall cut, create the space, lay it off to Rooney, free ball to Messi and it's a goal. That all started from the face up with uh, Theo Walcott. This next one. Walcott leaving Marcelo for dead. Yep, see you later. Got down the byline. There's of course I love this header from Costa. Bang! Power header. But the face up created the chance. It gets you that, that yard of space, more than a yard of space, to um get the cross and look at all this from Messi. I, I I've just face up dribbled for about five seconds there. I've done the ball with Rooney and look who gets on the end of it. Follows it through Messi. But that all started from Messi using the face up dribble in the middle of the park. Um, here, Iniesta, this is one of my favourite ones. Left then right, with the shimmy, with the face up, and then Messi. Just a clear tap in. I'll show this one again with a replay because it was so effective. Just left right with a face up dribble, it's so easy. So easy. Look, it, it takes them completely out of the game. You've got to start implement, implementing it into your game, guys, because I really am using it every game, and it, it's so good. Um, who to use now you can literally use anyone and I'm not even joking with this but I've noticed a little increase in productivity if you use players with decent dribbling stats you'll notice I use Diego Costa, Walcott, Messi, um, Iniesta in these clips um, you can literally use anyone I mean I use Carl Walker sometimes literally anyone uh, this is even Barkley in this clip but the players with better dribbling stats obviously it goes without saying that they'll be better at it where to use you see I'll use it on the wing a lot I pretty much use it every time it, they never even guess it doesn't matter how many times you do it they don't really guess um, but in the middle of the park as you can see with Costa now it doesn't matter middle of the park um, on in the penalty box or on the wing it's absolutely fine and as soon as you start doing this guys if, if you've do it, doing it already you probably know what I'm talking about but if you haven't you need to start doing this because it creates so much space and so many goal scoring opportunities you really won't regret it so that's it guys for this tutorial, it was a real quick one but yeah, seriously this face up dribbling is, is overpowered and it's so easy to use, left trigger and right trigger or, or LT, um, L2 and R2 on a Playstation, it's as simple as that. Um, yeah, smash the like button if you enjoyed, uh, more tutorials will be coming soon and we'll see you for the next upload guys, thanks for watching.